Yes. A bear damper, and tear dancer, no, over to me attacking. I dare show, I dare show, I dare show, I dare show. Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quanchua's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. Kindly join us as my mom prepares her crowd pleasing peppered pork recipe. You are going to love this. So, our pork has been washed. For this recipe, we normally use the one that has some skin on. She's adding some salt and everything else. Everything is going to be listed for you in the description box. Yeah. Mama is saying because we don't have uh, fresh garlic, we are using garlic powder. So if you have fresh, you could use about six of that and blend it with your other ingredients. So we have here on the board some tomatoes. This is about, we are going to be cutting about 15 large tomatoes. Uh, we have three large onions. We're going to blend some and then the rest here we are probably going to put them in after everything. We have three hot peppers. For this recipe, you obviously want your pepper to be a lot. This is uh, peppered pork. And we have some fresh ginger. This is about 75 grams of ginger here cut up. We are going to add everything in here and blend. Friend is saying, I'm going to I'm to make sure that the meat coats everything, and then we'll see how much room we have to add some of the rest of the blended tomatoes and pe uh, peppers. <laughs> Mama says the pepper is not, uh, the salt is not enough, so she's adding a little bit more. Well, you ask for authentic cooking, and that is exactly what you're getting. There's no better spatula than Mama's finger, or your finger for that matter. Just look at how clean she made the pot. Onto the stove top it goes, and it's too heavy, so we are going to employ the help of my bestie Thelma. Anyway, I didn't get to introduce them to you. Ah, this is my best friend Thelma. She is gone now and we miss her terribly. Whenever she visits, this peppered pork has to be made before she leaves. So, since Mama is here, I was like, no, we should have it from the originator herself. So, we're so thankful that she made this for us. We really, really enjoy this. One thing that I already know which was very new for mama to discover is that when you make this recipe here in the United States, your sauce becomes very watery, almost like soup consistency before it boils all the way down. So she wasn't really happy with that. The tomatoes here, most of you will agree with me, has a lot of water. So you need to cook this down a lot longer than you would in Ghana. Anyway, she's adding one maggi shrimp tablet feel free to use any seasoning cube of choice or omit it completely it's totally up to you we are just going to stir to make sure that this goes into the stew so our meat also absorbs the flavors as well and like i said we had to let this cook down 
I am aware of this but she wasn't and it was a little bit disappointing for her if you are in Ghana it's definitely not going to be like this it's going to be done in no time your tomatoes won't turn out this watery so at this point we are going to let our sauce simmer down until it is all the way thickened and your sauce will be ready if you happen to be cooking with pork that is a little bit on the softer side you may want to set it aside until it cooks all the way down and add it so it's not going to end up being way too soft <laughs> A bear damper, and tear dance, and who bit me attack. I dare show, I dare show, I dare show, I dare show. Wait, you come back, you bad time with Tia. You're in a woman who fashioned her career. Yummy, 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 I do. As much as you Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give this recipe a try. This is truly crowd pleasing. And if you do, kindly give us a comment. Let Mama know how you found this recipe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up to show that you enjoyed watching us. And until we come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy. Delicious, yeah, yeah.